Okay folks, well today I'm just going to run you through some of the things we did in class as to how to set up a drawing. Uh, and we always start with a, a one centimeter, 10 millimeter border around the outside. You'll notice that I'm doing this fairly freehand, uh, or not freehand, but fairly much by eye. It's the only thing that we really do by eye because your eye is important in making judgments. You can just about tell the difference between 10 millimeters and 12 millimeters, 10 millimeters and eight millimeters and so on. So just do trust your eye, make those fine adjustments with the border. The border should happen, but it should happen fairly quickly. It's not the drawing, it's just the, uh, the surrounds for it. And you'll note the same of the uh, title block at the bottom right hand corner, 100 millimeters long with a section for your name, uh, a section for the date, and a section for say the drawing number. Then you have to clip your board. I've got a backing sheet, a dark backing sheet, just so you can see it. And the real challenge here is to get this aligned with your bottom, the bottom of your sheet of paper. I tend to do it with the bottom line or the bottom border. So that if I take the sheet off, put it back on, I always align it to that. Now today we're doing the three-stepped block. We've got a model of it. And our goal is to do an orthographic with a front, a side, and a top view, as well as an isometric on the other side of the sheet of the paper. So that's cut out of balsa wood. I just did that just beforehand. So the side view, the front view, uh, uh, go across the page. So I'm marking out a space followed by um, what turns out to be a mistake here. I should have measured there, not 75, but 50. I've discovered my mistake. Um, so that first 10 millimeters is a space followed by 50 because the, uh, the block is 50 millimeters wide. Another 10 for the next gap. And then uh, the overall length of the front of it is 75 millimeters. So by putting those simple marks on, just measuring across, I can do all of my verticals. For all of the verticals, I have to lock my T-square in to the left-hand side of the board and lightly mark those lines out. Every one of them, perfectly vertical. Every one of them uh, is accurate because um, they have been uh, set up with the, with the T-square and the set square, which measures a 90 degree angle. Now I'm marking out my uh, horizontal spaces. I'm coming up 40 from the bottom and uh, I'm coming up down 40 from the top. This is a bit of guesswork, uh, much like what we did in class, but this should give us a fairly good uh, result. You can be precise with this. Uh, if you planned it out beforehand. So I'm just setting out the spaces where my top, front and side view go. And this should all happen with my uh, T-square and my ruler so that all of the lines are perfectly parallel. Now you can see where the front view is going to go, where the side view is going to go, where the top view is going to go. Everything to this point has been just finding a place for them. Now I'm just doing the divisions. There are three steps, each of them 25 millimeters long. And I, once again, are lightly marking out uh, lines along the way for where those steps are, uh, fit in. And also the height of the steps, the total of um, 10 millimeters for each of the steps makes the overall height of the block, which was 30. Everything is done except the firming in. You've got to have your wits about you now as you just work your way through, firming in, trying to be really, really accurate, trying to be really, really um, intentional about the thickness of your lines and precise as to where you start and finish them. I'd personally recommend uh, that you use the T-square at the same time. At the moment, I'm just really studying my light lines and going over them just with the ruler. But if you use the T-square, and a set square or the t-square and the ruler on top that's equally good so now i'm on to the verticals uh, and you can see that i'm carefully firming them in studying each one really really carefully this is drawn at double the speed 
that I actually did it. Uh, so you won't be drawing it remotely this speed. In fact, I'd encourage you to um, to work slowly but thoughtfully and to slow the video down if you need to along the way. Now, I'm just going to now rub out some of those extra things that I put on this sheet that I normally wouldn't, just so that um, you can uh, sort of see what we're up to. We might just do a little sampling of turning this orthographic into a dimensioned orthographic. We've got light construction lines, the first lines we did. We've got um, dark lines for the outline of our shapes. Our dimensions are going to be done in a medium line. And I put a little uh, mark at the end of those. Dimensions are really, really important for lots of our drawings uh, because they may well be used as the plans in order to make something like the end product that we're designing. These could be design drawings for the block. And I've come down another 10 millimeters uh, in order to write some titles for the front and the side and also the top. And I would encourage you, um, I won't do the top, but I, I would encourage you to, any writing that's on your good sheets, to slow your writing down and to be really deliberate and really consistent in style. So that's our orthographic, almost complete. Uh, you may wonder why we've left space to the right hand side. That's for our isometric. That's the sort of the three dimensional view that goes out at 30 degrees to the left and the 30 degrees to the right. It's hard to get the spacing precise, so I've left some guesswork. And if time allowed, I would uh, be more precise and do a bit of trial and error here. We start with three lines with every isometric drawing. These are called the isometric axes, 30 degrees to the right, straight up and down, 30 degrees to the left. On these, you can measure out the lengths precisely as they are in your orthographic. So measuring out 75 to the right and 50 to the left so that you describe uh, the overall length and the overall thickness. And 30 high as well. And from here on in, every single line that you do is done along either a vertical line or a 30 degrees to the left or 30 degrees to the right. Now your first one of these is going to be by far the hardest. I've divided my heights up into three smaller steps. So try and picture what the block of wood would look like as I do this. Every single one of the lines has a purpose. Notice that um, I'm only ever going on the shallow angle. That's the 30 degree line, not the, not the steep one, like climbing a mountain. And I'm going to firm in the front edge of my steps. So see if you can picture this coming together. I'd encourage you to slow the video down to sort of see exactly what's happening here. But I've more or less done an isometric view of the front. Now I've done a little bit of an isometric view of the, uh, the side and the top. So I'm doing a little bit of the top there. The rest looks really tricky. There's lots of lines, it's lots of confusion. Now it's a puzzle to be solved. So see what I'm doing here and getting that first little lip, that first little step. It's all about intersecting lines. Light lines to see where they intersect and then firm in when you found out where they intersect. And eventually the object uh, comes into the third dimension. There's no twisting or adjusting, it's either straight up and down, 30 degrees to the right, 30 degrees to the left. And make sure all of your little corners are really precise before you rub them out. We're just about there, except that you should always name your, uh, your sheet, give it a date and a number.